family. This is Lucy from Stag Health and Fitness. I hope you're well. Um, today I've got for you a uh, 16 minute Tabata. We're using one dumbbell. It's going to be tough, but we've got four Tabatas back to back. So that's 20 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest. For 16 minutes, we've got two, four, six, eight, we've got eight different moves. Um, but I'll tell you each one as we go along. I'm going to just crack on with this one now. So as usual, as you can hear, I'm just on quite a good warm up, so I'm all nice and warm and stretchy. Uh, blood's pumping, everything's nice and warm. So if you do, if you haven't done a warm up, please for this one definitely do a warm up because we're going to be hitting every single part of our body. It's going to be tough, but it's going to be 16 minutes and then we're going to be done and we're going to get on with our lives. Okay, I've got a lot to do today. So without further ado. Let's go. So the first Tabata is, so as I said, you've got two exercises. So you've got uh, an alternate swing, an alternate single arm swing. Then we're moving on to the goblet lunge, okay? Just follow me and we're gonna get through this together. I've got a timer up here. We've got five seconds. So get ready, grab it, and let's, let's go. So alternate swings. Bend your knees, use the swing as the momentum. That's it, we've got five seconds left. Keep going. And rest. Now with these, it's gonna to get tough, so I say put, put, put the bell down, put the kettlebell down when you can. And we're gonna lunge. Lunge forward. So these are our two moves. We're gonna do them. Four times each, so that's eight. Eight moves, then we move on to the next one. Five seconds left, guys. Good, I'm gonna write down, so I don't get confused and have to do it all again, which is what I sometimes have to do. Let's swing, let's go. That's it, get yourself into a nice rhythm for this. Straight back. Slightly bent legs. Use the swing and the weight of the bell to push you forward. You want to thrust your hips forward as well. Two, one, good. <coughs> okay, pick up. We're gonna goblet lunge. Let's go. Remember with the lunges, don't lunge too far forward. So you lose stability. Just smaller lunges, make sure you have a knee tap, or as close to a little knee tap as you can. We've got five seconds left. Two, one. Good, that's number two. There we go. Two, one. Told you, it's thick and fast. But these are such effective workouts. Halfway. That's it. Three, two, one. Drop it and now pick it up. We've got two, one. Let's lunge. Ten seconds, you're halfway. Twenty seconds of work. Ten seconds of rest. Sixteen minutes. Three, two, one. Good. That's round number three. We've got our last round of this one. Then we move on to two different moves. Okay. Oh, that went quick. One. Let's go. You really want to find yourself in a rhythm with these swings. Seconds. Transition is everything. Two, one. Good. All right. Okay. Our last lunge. Let's go. Lunge forward. Remember, don't overstep it. Nice, small lunges. That's it. 10 seconds left, guys. 
Keep going. Two. And one. Okay. So now we are moving on to the American swing. It's like a normal swing, but you just swing it right over your head. Ah. Okay. American swing, this is. Show you from the side. Five, four, and one. Good. Now we've got RDLs, we've got Romanian deadlift. Three, two, one, and go from the side. So it's straight legs. You want to keep your legs nice and straight. So we're really hitting the hamstrings and the glutes. Straight back, flat back. You want to hinge at the hips, thrust forward. Hinge at the hips, thrust forward. Good. That's number one. Three more to go. So American swing up next. It's the full swing all the way up. American life, let's take it one step further. And this is it in the swing. All the way up. Don't stop at your shoulders, go all the way up. Five, four, and two, and one. Good. Coming up next, RDL. We are smashing through this. Right. There we go. Hinge at the hips. Hinge at the hips. All the way down. And then thrust forward. Flat back. Slowly controlled. And thrust up. Guys, we've got three. Two. One. Good. American swing next. This is round number two now. This is round number three. American swing. Think and fast. Let's go. One. Two. Momentum, swing all the way up and stop yourself just above your head. And 10 seconds left. RDL next, straight legs, and down we come. I like to keep my, a little bit, my feet a little bit apart for these, so the bell has a place to go down. This is it. Three, two, and one. Good. Okay, one of the last one of these. Then we move on. We are moving on. American swings. We'll go from this side so you can see. Let's go. Bend the knees and up. Bend the knees and up. Swing all the way up. Use your core to stop the weight above your head. This is really a great touch of body. Two, one, excellent. Right, we're on the L's, then we're moving on. Our next move is gonna be alternate snatch and sumo squats. There we go. Nice, straight back, straight legs. All the way down, nice and slow. Hinge at the hips. Thrust. Guys, we've got three, two, one. Oh, good. Last one. Okay. So now we've got an alternate snatch and a sumo squat. Okay, this is a tough one. Actually, you've got to get this bar over the head. So we're going to go one, two. Again, it's like a swing, but you've got Snatch it over your head. You've got to have a good, smooth transition underneath. Two. Last one. One. Okay, now we've got a sumo squat. So it's a wide leg. Almost deadlift, some people like to call it. But we start like this. Wide stance. And we go down. If you want to be really deep in your squat, you can put a couple of plates under your feet and go even further. 
It's up to you. I'm fine with this. And now, four, flat back, straight, chest up. That's it. Good, that's round number one. Okay, we're moving into the squat, um, the snatches again. Okay, let's go. Snatch up. Some people hurt their wrists in this one, but it's all about the transition to the bell. If you hold the bell handle on the side and lift it up, it means there's a minimum space. I'll try to show you when we're not moving. Okay. So if you hold it like that, swing it up like that, there's less space for it. So if you hold it like that, so start like this. Now we've got sumo squats. Let me try and help better with that. It's kind of thick and fast, I don't have time to explain. I'll do it on the notes. We are all good. Here we go. Two and one. So start with the snatch with the handle facing that way and then swing back and then flip it onto your wrist. Okay? This is the least path of least pain. And some people complain of um, wrist pain. Three, two, one. The, the uh, snatches are difficult because it's the other one you've got to kind of heave over your head. Um, obviously, apart from the other swings, but the snatches are harder to get over your head. So if you've got heavier weight, it's going to take a bit of practice. Whew. We've got five. We are smashing through this. Two. One. Yeah. Okay, last round. Remember, start like this and swing up. And swing. That's it. Switch between your legs. Okay, flat back. Use the momentum of the weight to lift forward and get it over your head. And two, and one. Good. Now we're sumo squatting. And then, this is our last one. Then we move on to core. So we're going to get on the floor. <clears throat> okay, 10 seconds now. Keep going. Three, two, and one. <clears throat> okay, so our next move is a Russian twist. I'll go from this angle, hopefully, you can see. clicks within the first one, two, three, halfway, if you really want to have your feet off, you want to be engaging your core, this is really good for your obliques, your side arms, your side um, core, okay, now we're going to do a plank drag, so in plank position, opposite hand, and drag, opposite hand, and drag, opposite hand, drag, keep going, we're halfway. <clears throat> There's not been a lot of time, drink any water, and one, good. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, okay I'm sweaty now, so we've got three, two, one, let's go. seconds. Keep going. Three, two, one. Okay. Flank drags. Should I write down the first one there? Flank and drag. Exactly what it says. Keep your core nice and tight. Arms. They are 
toasting. Just a different variation of the plank. This plank's really quite boring. Okay. Some two, yeah. Some two. We've got two more left. Oh, twist. It comes around so quick. Ah. Let's go. Come on. This is the last two. We've got five seconds. Two, one. Okay, plank drags. Engage core, don't stop now, we've got three, two, and one. Right guys, this is our last. We've got the twist and the drag. Quick. That's it, let's go. Okay, this is it guys. Come on, this is your core. I always like to end things on the core. This is a great full body. Flat drag. And we're done. I'm sweating. The brain's coming down. Ten seconds. That's all we've got, guys. Come on. Ten seconds. Don't stop. Don't slow down. Let's go. Drag, drag, and whoo, that's it. That is a 16 minute, one kettlebell, Tabata, complete. So for an extra challenge, you can just rewind and do it again. Activity completed. I love that bird voice. So, if you want to, you can rewind and do it again and make a 32 minute to batter. I don't have time for that today, I've got things to do. But as you can see, that's worked me enough anyway. It's good, it's good enough for me at the moment. I um, hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe, like, follow, tell your friends, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if you like what you see, let me know what you want. Um, and yeah, have a good week. Cheers, bye.